Hi Pisces, I'm going to do a general love reading for you from the 9th until the 15th with some inner guidance. Let's see what is your love interest want to tell you this week. And just remember, this is general readings. It will not resonate with everyone. If some of it resonates, please take it and um, leave the rest and then also just for information i'm doing the water signs first um just check out your north node on um, the astrology astrology side um for additional guidance to your current life path i will put the links in the description box below so let's see for pisces and their love interest for the week of the 9th until the 15th. Seek hidden treasure. Okay. This sounds very, very interesting. <laughs> okay, so let's get some additional guidance of what treasure do you need to seek? Oh, okay. Okay, so I got three cards. It says success and growth. So this is not really to do with your love, but this is more work. But I'm going to put it out there. Success and growth. Then it says your darkest fears. So it tends to tell you that you maybe need to do some shadow work. And then you got rest and reconsider. I'm just going to put it like so. Then we know. Okay. Then let's quickly see for Pisces. Oh, that your, your energy is very vibrant, it seems. <laughs> it's too many cords. I'm not going to take all of it. So what does Pisces need to know? For their love interest from the 9th until the 15th of November. Okay, so let's cut the deck. Pisces love interest. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Telling me there's a lot of opportunities. Got the star card. It's telling me balance. The king of cups. And judgment. Okay. I'm going to draw additional clarifiers if I feel the need. Um, so let's get additional guidance for Pisces so let's see let's cut the take Priestess, Two of Cups, Nine of Water. Okay, let's see. Okay, so Pisces, you currently in a relationship that is maybe causing you to to rethink a lot of things 
This can also be a past relationship that you're currently rethinking, um, the experiences you had in your past relationship. Um, it's telling me that you are a very hard worker with success and growth. You are putting a lot into your work. But you do have, with these two cards, past situations, darkest fears and rest and reconsider. It's telling me with a past relationship that you could have, it did not win so well. And um, you, you have to listen to your intuition. Not to make the same mistakes from the past relationship in your current relationship. This is telling me, this is a really, really beautiful energy, the star card. It's telling me you are working towards to balance your current relationship. Um, you could be in a relationship with someone, a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Um, that would, because as well... The water sign they will understand you possibly maybe a bit better um, but you are presented with a lot of choices or options currently in your relationship this can be someone new coming in this could be a third party situation in your relationship or this could be your partner giving you a lot of options, new ideas, things that they want to do. Um, but due to strenuous hard work and here as well, you are trying to give definitely a lot of yourself um, and also for charitable causes, but also to your relationship financially um, to ensure that Everything financial wise is fine in the relationship. Um, this card, the high priestess, is telling me that, um, and this is also, I think, a water sign card. Um, listen to your intuition, have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. So, you are presented with a lot of choices. So, have patience because the clarity will come. Consider carefully before acting with all these choices. You've also got the Two of Cups, the Two of Water. And this is telling me that you are currently in a very stable relationship maybe um, you are growing closer to each other um, and you are able to work out your conflicts or issues um, this is also Aquarius energy the nine of water is telling me this is a wish fulfillment so with the nine of water seek the hidden treasure you will see at this card there is treasure there it says your wish come true concerns fade away a love of life this is really a beautiful card so it doesn't show me a lot of issues if in your current relationship it just says that you are working very hard someone or family can present you with a lot of options or choices or even your partner you are also trying to balancing it out but your wish fulfillment is yeah um, happiness is yeah um, and it says, do not make too quick decisions regarding your relationship. Um, think it through. 
but also with your past do not repeat it in your current relationship because that will then cause judgment this is telling me try to heal from past relationships that did not go well heal that that part of you to have a fulfilling relationship do not bring in your past leave the past behind do not bring it into your current relationship because seek hidden treasure this is telling me that the current partner that you may have there's hidden treasure in that person um, before you give up make sure that you've tried from your side to learn the person for who they are because hidden treasure is a very positive card it's telling me that there's more to come more positive more abundance to come so just have patience do not make quick and rapid decisions um yeah like i said this is a general reading it will not resonate with everyone if it does um take what's yours and then yeah leave the rest and i hope this could have been some help to you